This weed here is serrated tussock, probably the most prominent weed in our council. This plant is a prolific seeder with 90,000 seeds approximately on a mature plant. It's a highly invasive weed that can grow anywhere, in good pasture or bad. Its features are, each individual leaf on it is very hair-like in appearance, very thin. It's completely round, so it rolls in your fingers like that. At certain times, there is a serrate on it. When you pull your fingers up and down at one direction, you'll feel the serrate and the drag on it. It is often mistaken for native tussocks, which we have quite a few of in our council. But once you get to an ID serrated tussock, it stands out from the rest. It's a lime green, as you can see, but in the winter time, it'll die off to where the tips of it are a blonde colour and a good way to identify it in the winters stand with the sun at your back and look down your paddock you'll see the blonde tip. Serrated tussock usually bees in seed around November every year but it'll adapt to any season. As you can see here the seeds are sort of egg shaped and they're a browny maroonish red colour. The tussock will lay down in a big swoop like that onto the ground when it's uh, fully loaded in seed. This weed has an impact on the community, the economy, and it takes over the environment, completely blanketing areas, and that can even be in town on your front lawn. This weed can blow from a long distance. There'd be thousands of dollars spent every year in our council controlling this weed. There is almost no nutritional value in this for stock. Kangaroos and that eat it down a bit in full-on drought, and so will cows and sheep, but very rarely touch it. Most times you'll see the ground completely eaten with grass, and these still standing high. There's many methods of control for serrated tussock. They're all very effective. Herbicide's probably your easiest. You get more done for your time, but manual control is just as effective if you have time to dig it out. You can also broad spray big areas and put crops and pastures in to compete against it. Serrated tussock's a plant that doesn't like competition from other species. So if you can get your competition built up, your biomatter and your grasses established, you will have far less trouble with serrated tussock and it will cost you far less money.